Hi guys. Well, it is getting to be a hot, sticky, miserable mid-August day. It's Friday, August 20th, 2021. So I'm standing out here. This was the big day I have been waiting for since May 20th. We planted this corn. Alistair and I uh, planted about 2,000 ears of this Silver Queen corn. 2,000 ears of this beautiful uh, homegrown organic silver corn, which is it's at 90 days, scheduled to be harvested today. And I have been in denial over this the, uh, the past few days. So, you know, I chose Silver Queen corn over this new sweet corn. Silver Queen corn, I, I remember eating this as a kid. This was always my favorite corn. It's a white corn. I don't know whether it's considered an heirloom or not. It's, uh, but it's certainly, well, I know it's been around for well over 50 years. It was my mama's favorite kind of corn. And uh, so I know it's been around for over 50 years. It is not GMO, whether it's an heirloom officially, I don't know, but it's always been my favorite kind of corn. So I have about $500 invested into this cornfield that I planted uh, three months ago, about $500. Uh, I don't know how many hours and hours of work uh, that I have put into this beautiful cornfield. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, uh, an organic farmer's dream. So I'm out here deciding whether to start picking it. I, you know, I'm, I was going to sell this for 50 cents an ear. So I was hoping to have, you know, all the corn I could deal with share with neighbors and uh, still make close to a thousand dollars you know make my five hundred dollars back and hopefully make another five hundred dollars uh so the big day has arrived so i came out here and just picked this one ear of corn this is actually the third ear that i have picked and uh You know, I chose this corn because my problem with all of these new varieties of corn, these super sweet uh, corn varieties, not only that, the vast majority of them are GMO. <laughs> my problem with all of these new varieties of this super sweet corn is that it is too sweet. I mean, why don't you just buy a damn Snickers bar? If you want a candy bar, go buy a candy bar. It, the, the, these damn things are so sweet that they don't taste like corn anymore. They don't even, they, they've just left the taste of corn out of it looking for the sugar. So I actually like to taste my corn. So I went with the old-fashioned variety and not one of these super improved, super sweet varieties. There is one problem with my 2,000 ears of this gorgeous, homegrown, organic Silver Queen corn. And that is, it has no flavor. I am. What I'm eating is a mildly sweetened piece of cardboard. It's like, uh, you know, maybe if you uh, put a bunch of, I don't know, Lucky Charms cereal uh, in, you know, just in the cardboard cereal box and ate the fucking cardboard. I mean, it has this tiniest little hint of corn and I and I honestly don't know guys I honestly do not know 
if this is the way it's supposed to taste or not. Have I just gotten so snookered by all of these new improved sweet corn varieties that, you know, these old fashioned ears of corn taste like barely sweetened cardboard or, or, or what? So now I honestly don't know what to do, guys. Do I go through the motions of harvesting 2,000 ears of, uh, uh, of this corn and selling it to people and having the people get home and, and uh, having it taste like fucking cardboard? You know, I mean, look at this gorgeous stuff. Uh, I, I'm ready to go on to fucking Craigslist and say I have 2,000 ears of organic Silver Queen corn to, if you don't mind driving out here to Bugs in a Jar Farm to pick it. Can't believe this fucking bullshit. Three fucking months I have been waiting for today watching this beautiful corn grow. Oh, Jesus, and here I am uh, after all of the digging and sweating and money and going through that shit with that fucking windshield I went through uh, for the big day and, and, I, and, and I'm too embarrassed to, to sell the shit for 50 cents an ear because it tastes like shit. It doesn't taste like shit. I, you know, I mean, it's perfectly edible. Uh, it just doesn't taste like anything. You know, fucking gardening. Look at those onions that were fucking trashed in that uh, flood. But look at these beautiful, look at these beautiful okra blooms. You know, okra is, I don't know why it's just not, you know, just sold as a flower. I thought I saw a honeybee on the clover, but it's a bumblebee. Anyway. I'm going to go have my daily BLT and decide what the fuck I'm going to do out here with this fucking corn. I'm just wondering, is it? I mean, what? Is this the way Silver Queen has always tasted? Or is it just not been hot enough. I think it might need some, you know, hot sun on it uh, to sweeten it up. Anyway, what a fucking disaster. There's one more fucking disaster in my fucking life. Jesus fucking Christ.